Heart of a Woman. Okay, guys, so we're back and we're talking about dining etiquette. And uh, we had our soup. We spoke about the bread. We, we had our uh, salad. salad. And now we have our main course. Now she eats like a bird. So we have to get a little bit of food. No, I'm just playing. So this is, you know, for demonstration. So what we have is um, some peas. And we have chicken, and we have um, potato, potato pie. pie. Yeah, she's watching her figure, and of course she's having some red wine. So let's do American style uh, dining, for so that's your favorite. Mm -hmm. Remember, okay, so I'll, I'll talk you through it. So remember, let's look at the meat first, uh, Simone. Okay. Remember, wrist down. Take it down and elbows tucked in. Yeah, we always want the elbows tucked in. We don't want you to be hitting other people and a fight break out in the restaurant. So elbows tucked in. And you cut just enough meat that you want to eat. Yeah, with mm -hmm. American style lining. So you cut, you hold, remember how you hold your fork, your knife and your fork. Uh, so if you remember, if you're gonna switch, so let's go back again and, and start. Do put okay. your knife in the other hand, right? Right. So you cut it just enough. I'll wrist down. Take your wrist down a little bit. Right. Nice. So you cut. So you have to have something on your on your fork. When you cut, you have something mm -hmm. on your fork, mm -hmm. right? You rest your knife down. Put your times facing you. Yeah. And you switch over with the right hand and you take it to your mouth, yeah? So that's your American style dining when you, you do it like that. Remember now, if you want to rest while you're eating, you rest with your... No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah? So even um, you're doing like that and you also want to have your pie while you're cutting, so let's just do that little demonstration. You cut your pie, so you had your, yes, you cut your pie. Right, I like what you did, that's why I asked you. I wanted to see how you would maneuver the pie and the chicken. So you use your knife as a pusher, in a sense that you can use it to maneuver your mm -hmm. meal, instead of people doing this, which is a no-no. So let's say you want to get your pie, what I would suggest, move your chicken away from you mm -hmm. and bring your pie to you so you can move you can move your chicken in the position that the pie should be yeah you know move it away from you so you can have access so you're still holding your knife the way the way you're supposed to because okay. you don't want accidents right you stick your your your, fork, your pie the way you want it remember drop that wrist yeah and you cut just what you want to eat. Mm -hmm. Just what you want to eat. Make sure it's secure on your. Yeah, you kind of like you're afraid to. Um, <laughs> so look what she, she you just did. You change the handle. Now the post on this side. You just you just gave them that. Eh? <laughs> so we need to be careful, right? Mm. And you switch over. So that's a switch and switch, and you take it. To your, to your mouth. mouth, yeah. So you take it to your mouth like a pencil, so you don't want to use the back, right? Okay. And what you do, you continue doing that, and you rest, and you have a sip of your wine, you know, you have a conversation, you know, that kind of thing. Let's talk about conversations at the dinner table. What kind of conversation do you think is good at the dinner table? Or let me see. shopping, shopping. Shopping is always great anytime for women. <laughs> we we can talk about shopping anytime. Yes? Shopping. Yeah, what well, conversations are not so good at the dinner table? Hmm. Politics? Politics. We don't want to talk politics. We don't want to talk religion. We don't want to talk about gross stuff because you who wants to talk about growth? You know, things like that. You don't want to talk about medical stuff as well, you know some surgery some that music. you had, okay. you don't want to talk about things like that. So you wanna talk about pleasant things. Why not politics? You never know 
Well, I don't know who is at the table and exactly. their political mm -hmm. affiliations. Exactly. And, and you don't want to offend anybody. The exactly. same thing with religion. People are very touchy about religion. Uh, you, you don't want to talk about other things. You, you don't want to talk, as we say in our local parlance, you don't want to talk um, commerce. You don't want to talk commerce either. You don't want to talk people's business because you don't know who is related to who. Or, or you don't know. So you don't want to talk about those things. So you talk about pleasant things. A trip that you went on, uh, your surprise birthday party for your friend, you know, um, and a shoe that you bought online, you know, and you know, starting conversations like that. Um, mm -hmm. Pleasant things. A cruise that you went on, you know, things that okay. you can engage other people in. And it is always nice to share conversations with your partner next to you. When I say your partner, you may be at a dinner and you don't really know the person sitting next to you. This is a great time to get to know people. Yeah? Okay. So yeah, so you're not just eating and just eating and ready to run. So you take your time, you cut your food, you rest and So what do you suggest as an open um, an opening line, line for your Partner that the you person don't, next to yes, you, that you do not know. It is always great to introduce yourself, and you don't have to shake hands if you don't want to. But you don't have to shake your hands, but you know, good evening, you know, I, you know, and, and, and you know, I am so whatever my name is, and the person say hi, I am whatever. And you can also ask, um, it's the first time you're coming to the restaurant, or if it's an event, you can talk about the ambience, you can talk about what is happening in the event, you can talk about the food, that's a lovely opening line, you can give, well I don't know, men don't give men compliments, but it's always nice for us as women to say, I love your hair, you know, I love your dress, that's a beautiful dress, or something, we can always find something to talk about. And another great thing as well, when you, when you go to uh, someone's home and they invite you for dinner, always let the host or the hostess dictate the pace of the dinner. You know, you, you kind of look at them, look at them as, um, you take cues from them, you see? Uh, another thing, if you at a uh, dinner table, it's not a plated meal, but you have your meal sat out on the table, and whatever condiments or sauces, if you don't see a particular sauce, you don't ask for it. Okay. It's, it's not there, it's because no, they no. don't have it. Okay. And it's, it's a little off, if you ask. So you're, you're not a catch-up. <laughs> I'm just saying. No. I am just saying, you know. So, you know, we need to we need to look at these things as well. As we have our wine here, let's talk a little bit about wine. You know, it is always good. You see people hold wine glasses like this. You see them hold it all kind of fancy how. But it's always great to hold your wine at this time. Okay. Oh, the glass is quite elegant as well to do that. Yeah? Now you'll observe that we have the spoon and the fork, and that's our dessert spoon and fork. Um, long time. <laughs> the way you would use both spoon and fork for dessert, you don't have to. What You don't okay. have to do that. It, it's, it's up to you if you want to use your spoon or your fork for okay. your dessert, yeah? So you can have your spoon, your um, dessert with your spoon and fork, or your fork or your spoon. I mean, obviously you would not have ice cream with a fork, yeah? Yes. Now you observe that we have the teaspoon as well. Yes. And we have no, no teacup and saucer at the table. So after everything is clear, you may be asked if you would like to have coffee or tea, and that's when we use, the tea you know, so it, it will be brought to your table to have your coffee okay. or your tea. And it's sad that we have to, that I have to say this, but it happens. You see people would be stirring their tea and you hear the noise. And I've seen, I saw a young man, he was finished stirring and then he did that. Right. So you don't do that. Please don't do that. And before I forget, whenever you're using your, your cutlery, please don't, once it's been used, don't do this. 
because it's, you're using it already, it's been used. Don't let it touch the, the table. uh, tablecloth. One, it will dirty up the tablecloth and you don't want that. So not this at all. You also don't want to have your cutlery in your hand and you say yes. And you're having a conversation. You don't want to do that. You just chuck somebody's eyes out like that. And that is very threatening. Especially when we talk our stuff we're not supposed to talk about <laughs> on the table. And we get into heated conversations about politics and the like. So you, you don't, you want to you wanna talk if it's American style. Then you rest yes. and you, you have your conversation. And you still don't want to have a conversation like that. Remember, no elbows at the table, so you can have your conversation, you can take a sip of your wine. It's non-alcoholic wine, thank you. You can have a sip of your wine, continue conversation, make it very pleasant, ask about the children, please don't pull out the pictures, and another thing. No cell phones at the table. I know that's very difficult for some people. You don't have your cell phones at the table when you're having dinner. Because when your cell phone is at the table and you like that, you're not paying attention to the people next to you. And why are you at the dinner anyway? That's what we were talking about. Are there any exemptions to these rules in the sense that you see these politicians even, you know, they are going to the jazz show and the whole time they have their cell phone at the But well, it's not just politicians, eh, honey. The world has gone mad with the cell phone. You know, <laughs> so we have smartphones and foolish people. That's how I feel. No, seriously. Because I looked at some people uh, recently at a dinner. Why did you come to dinner? We are at a dinner and you have your phone out and your spouse is there and your children, everybody has a device. Why? The whole point of doing this was so we could have a meal together and we can talk. We don't talk anymore, so we need to change that. Okay. So there's a right thing and a wrong thing. I don't care who's doing it. It is wrong because you can't be at the table. I'm, and I know there are people, their job require that they may be on call. You can have your phone on silent on your lap or something. And if it rains, you don't pick your phone up on the table. Okay, you ask for an excuse it's... and you leave. Etiquette is not just a bunch of rules. To me, it's common sense. Common sense and, and, and good manners rolled into one. Okay. You know, we don't think about it like that because you also hear people talk about what oh, is etiquette thing is for the elite. It's not. It's for everybody. Because manners is for everybody. You know, we all need to have good manners, and this is basically what this is. We spoke about little rules, and I just want to go over those things. You know, sitting upright is very important. You don't want to be hunched over like that to have a meal. Taking a picture like this, right off, upright when you have the meal, and I am—I don't know. I must ask a doctor if that would help with digest digestion as well. Mm -hmm. If we sit, sit upright, upright to have a meal, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I would think so. And of course, that elbows, elbows should be kept off yes, the sir. table, and no flappy arms when we eating. That flappy thing going on, and no threatening. Hands with the cutlery, we don't want that as well. And of course, we're talking about um, if you need to leave the table, the use of the napkin, you don't put it. I, I do, for me, and as again, I said, this is my preference. You hear other etiquette trainers that it's fine to put it on the hand of the chair or to put it on your seat. Um, Things go on the seat, I don't want to use a napkin. That's just me that is on the seat. And I don't want to put it on the table, either on the handle of the chair, so I love putting it at the side. At the side. If your napkin falls, we spoke about that before, you don't pick it up and use it again, you ask the wait staff, and again, treat your wait staff with respect. 
you just simply ask for another one and your soup you don't slurp because you don't hear you know you don't hear that and what we we didn't talk about really is when your soup is at that place and you finish you could just tilt your bowl and again as we said away from, from you, you and, and then to them out yeah um don't ask for these boxes or you know we, we have what we like to say i can get a foil something or sterotex mm -hmm. box or take away something yeah. don't do that at a formal dinner or even if you go to someone's home if they offer you that's fine but but don't don't do that yeah and um cutting enough food to eat so you don't want to wolf the food down remember it's dining and it's an experience and you want to get to know the people next to you or reconnect with somebody yeah, yeah. enjoy the ambience and enjoy the food enjoy the experience that is what dining mm -hmm. is really about and chewing with your mouth closed and it, it's sad that you have to keep saying these things but you see it all the time so simone it was really great having you on set with me today talking about dining at cat I hope you had a good time. Yes, I did. I especially enjoyed the meal. You did enjoy the meal? Yes. Mm. Do you enjoy the meal? Okay. And the wine. <laughs> and the wine. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you have it, eh? but <laughs> you enjoyed the wine. Yeah. Mm. So, Simone, we want to tell people that it's really great because you did the course and you said, you know, you learned so much. Yes, you learned plenty and you reinforce what ever myth you have you mm -hmm. get rid of them or you mm -hmm. understand why they are myth mm -hmm. you know so it's yeah. that's why we want to encourage any young woman mm -hmm. young adult to get it it's and our men as well yeah but do you have a men's class of course if i have 10 men five men six men four men i will go and i will do anybody except kids i don't do little ones no, well, yeah, so know. from age 12, yes, and I'm okay. good to go. Yeah, okay, so Simone, well. we were just want to say to our viewing audience that enjoy your dinner, enjoy the experience, and from my heart to yours, bye bye. bye. Clothing and accessories provided by Afro Gypsy Nook, located at 28th North Oldfields, Lowlands, Tobago.